After being involved in the, in the setup for the last number of years, there was a lot of lads who didn't get a game time because we tried to settle a team down early in the year, especially building up to last year's championship. But you know, there was lads definitely who deserved a run in the team at some stage, or, or were constantly pushing for a start. So you know, and John has kind of added a few more of last year's under 21 to that. So he'd be pleased, I'd say, going in, going into the championship season with knowing he'll probably probably use 24, 25 players during that during the four games and that he can trust them all. Every new system is entitled to be trialled and um, given, a, given a fair opportunity to prove itself. most important thing is the players wanted it, they want more games of high quality, so you know you have to trust the players' opinion on it, but you know it's disappointing to see the Monster Championship isn't in its old format go as well. You know whether till this, this would be continued as a system going forward, we'll have to wait and see. Probably, because realistically we've nearly four home games. You know, we've two in Cork, we've two in, in Thurless, which is perceived to be our second home anyway, so we'll be, they'll be honoured by the fact that, you know, going to Thurless won't be, it won't be any major task if we were going to Walsh Park, no Sarah Cusick Park for, for one of them games. It could po cause problems or a stumbling block for us. That suggestion is always out there, but if you look back into history, Cork have won a hell of a lot of games in, in poor conditions um, on wet days, so look, you can, you can only prepare for every eventuality. You can't put a roof over a stadium and say, we, we keep it dry all the time, so players know they have to be on their game every day to go out. Their, their skill level and their speed, the way, the way, the way they're moving about, the they're serious, serious quality forwards. Obviously looking at Cork perspective, you've Patrick Horgan who was, you know, basically unplayable at times last year, and Conor Lehan when he was hit, you know, at times Austin Gleeson, Waterford last year, Keen Lynch from Limerick is a serious, serious operator. You know, obviously Shamey, Bubbles, when they're on their day, they're, they're really, really good players. They don't have to mark themselves. Maybe they're glad they didn't have to mark me.